Hey you guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. If this is your first time on my vlog channel, make sure you subscribe. This is different than my main channel, Liz from like DIY. I post all kinds of stuff over here. I've done Dollar Tree hauls, I've done thrifting hauls, I'm you know doing stuff like this, showing you my cool background, just things that don't make it onto my main channel. I'm gonna post over here. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Recently, I rented an office space and I've had a lot of questions like, hey Liz, why are you renting an office space? Well, one, I just wanted a bigger space to film and do my projects. And secondly, I'm looking at hiring in people to come work with me and help me to run the day-to-day -day operations of my channel. So I needed an office space, a place where we can go. So I found a really great space that I'm loving and I've been working over the past months to just kind of put everything together. So one of my big dreams with my filming space was to have a full big pegboard wall backdrop. And I wanted to do this one because I really want to start filming myself at different angles. Like when I'm DIYing, I want to have a camera that's off in the distance. So you get like a wide angle plus like an overhead shot. So I really just wanted to kind of expand my filming and make my videos better for you guys. Uh, but I also realized that these pegboards are super popular. You can use them in an office, you can use them in a kid's room. So I wanted to show you guys how we put this together like fairly inexpensively. Now I will say it did take some time. It's not hard, but it did take some time to do. So just let, to let you know, if you get started on this project, it is gonna take a little bit of time to do. But in the end, like I would totally do it again. I love it. I grabbed three sheets of plywood from Lowe's. Now the plywood was 96 inches, which is what our ceiling height was. We didn't have to cut the height. We did have to trim down one of the pieces on the side. So I actually have three plywood boards behind me. So I wanted to alternate having like a small hole with a large hole so that I could use like little dowel pegs and also like really long pegs as well. So to do that, we measured off with our tape measure every five inches on one edge of the board. And then we did that on the other side as well. And then we used a big board to draw with a pencil, a long line to connect both of the lines. Then we did that on the sides as well. So we measured five inches on one side, measured five inches on the other side, and again, went through and drew the lines. And in the end, what we created was a big grid system where we had five by five squares. Now, after you create your grid, then you can go back in and do your drilling. So me and my husband divided it up. So he was going to drill the large one inch holes and I was going to drill the smaller holes. I recommend before you drill any holes, I would go to Lowe's and pick out your dowels. I grabbed one inch dowels for the larger ones and then the smaller ones, I got a smaller dowel size. I'm not sure of the exact size. I will put in a link here for you. That way, when you drill your holes, you can test it. So you can put it down in there and make sure that it's going to work. The worst thing that could happen is you drill your holes and then your dowels don't fit in. So I went through with the small drill and just every other one where the lines met, I would drill a hole completely through the boards. And then my husband came back and did every other one. And so we did that process for all three of the boards. This is the part that took a while. Okay, so next, after we got all of the holes drilled, I took the boards outside and I sanded them down with my orbital sander. I will link that below and any other things I'm talking about in this video, I'll link down in the description box for you. So I sanded it down with my orbital sander and that removes the lines plus any area where you, know, you kind of got weird drill marks, you kind of clean that up a bit as well. Once we did that, it was time to add them to the walls. We just used some two by fours and we screwed those into the studs on the wall. Next, we placed our boards against the wall.
And then we screwed the boards into the support pieces that we already put up. Next, I added a little bit of wood fill over the screws. I mean, honestly, it was hard to even tell where these screws were, but I thought since I was going to be filming, I would make it look really good. So I added a little bit of wood filler over the screws. So next I put in the one inch dowels and I kind of tried to figure out how long I wanted to make them. For several of my one inch dowels, I wanted them to be support shelves. You can tell right here, I have like a shelf right here. So it's got two dowels and then I put a shelf over the top of it. Now on the shelf, I bought one by six boards, just common cheap boards. I think I grabbed them from Lowe's. I decided how many dowels I needed. I also cut down these little tiny pegs that were gonna fit like my smaller items on the shelf. So this was definitely the fun part, coming in, putting in the pegs, then putting the shelves out and kind of trying to even things out. So the shelves are now up. So now the fun part is to decorate. So I'm going to be putting like a combination of tools and plants and just things that look really cute. And then I had fun adding in decor. Now I added in faux plants, things that I really enjoyed. And then I also tried to make it a little bit whimsical by putting in things that I probably won't use these items, but they're, you know, DIY. So I got some big brushes and then these I picked up on Amazon. They're little, these are actually pretty cool scrapers and you know, I'll probably end up using them. I put a bunch of foam brushes. So it's definitely useful, but I wanted it to be pretty as well. And in the end, I just love the way it turned out. All right, you guys, make sure if you are not subscribed to my vlog channel that you hit that subscribe button. It really helped me out and I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here, I'm gonna link our last video and I'll talk to you guys in our next vlog. Bye.